Hi, I'm Stephanie from Woodcraft in Manchester, Connecticut, and I'm going. In, we're in the middle of a unicorn spit class here on Saturday. This is a two-hour class that I offer in Manchester, uh, learning how all about unicorn spit and how to use it as a stain, how to use it as a paint, and how to use it um, for doing a paint pour. So today, what I'm going to demonstrate is to how to use it as a stain. The four colors that I've chosen to use are red, purple, blue and green. Now it's important before you go to use it to shake it up to make sure it's evenly distributed. This is a water-based product so um, it washes up easily with soap and water. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply a little bit of the stain in one spot. A little goes a long way and I use my fingers and I drag it across the grain going in the direction of the grain of the wood. I did have one student who asked me about going against the grain and I said, well, I don't typically do that. And so what did he do? He decided to go against the grain and it came out beautiful. So I'm just gonna show you a basic technique about how to apply the stain going with the grain. And then I'm gonna add some red. As I said, a little goes a long way. What I try to do is as I apply it with my fingers, I try to cross over the previous color. And next I'm gonna do my purple on the bottom here. Just apply a little bit and then use my fingers to pull it across. As I said before, I like to use red oak because it has a very strong grain pattern. You could also use pine or whatever piece of furniture you might have that you're trying to upcycle. This provides a nice color to give it some detail. So I can leave it like that. I would probably add a little bit more color to it to fill in some of those empty spots. But instead, what I'm gonna do now is just use plain um, distilled water and I'm gonna re-wet the wood with the water and then I'm gonna take my rag going with the direction of the grain of the wood I'm going to wipe off the color, making sure I have a clean piece of cloth as I do each of my wipes. Okay, so that's what it would look like if I were to apply it like a stain. So now at this point, what I could do is leave this and let it dry. Then I would put an oil-based top coat on it. The other thing I can do, which is kind of fun, anybody like sparkly paints? I can tell because you got sparkle on you. I'm gonna actually, do you think I should use blue or green sparkle? Yeah. Okay, let me try the blue. Let's try some blue sparkle. Let's see what that's gonna do. So I'm gonna apply my blue sparkle to this whole thing. Same way of using my fingers going in the direction of the grain. And with the sparkle, I really like to add it over top of other colors because it really adds a nice dimension to the stain. Okay, Same thing, I'm going to use my cloth and I'm going to just wipe it, just lightly wipe it off. And what you'll notice is that some of that sparkle is now laid down into the grain lines. So I can still see my red, I can still see my purple, my blue, and my green. But adding that little bit of sparkle, and especially if you tilt it around a little bit, can you see it? Yeah. And what's great is the sparkle comes in gold, it comes in pink, comes in the blue like I said we just used, it also comes in green, and they're real fun colors to experiment with. So. Uh, this is, as I said, this is a stain technique that I use as part of my unicorn spit class here at Woodcraft Manchester. And I do have another class coming up in October on the 21st. It's a Sunday. It's a two-hour class. So if anybody's interested, uh, look onto Woodcraft Manchester Facebook page for details. Thanks for watching.